just at the back of Icon Park, going to a place where I wasn't going this year, as I said before, but circumstances have changed. So I'm going back to Kennedy Space Center. Let's go. If I be honest, loving you the hardest thing to do, so I keep to myself. I feel like I'm falling in and out of consciousness. Yeah. Here we are back at Kennedy, unscheduled. Um, not windy, that makes a change. I think it's the first time I've been here, it's not been windy. So no muff on the uh, camera. Let's go for security and get going. Jimmy, the people park. <laughs> The very impressive rocket garden of all previously used rockets. I do like the rocket garden, it's very cool. I think what we're going to do first is go and get a coffee and um, chill out basically. I feel a bit bad actually guys, I really do that I only was here last year but because of the circumstances have changed I thought it's my happy place, sorry I love space exploration um, and thought I'd bring you guys along again everyone's got a short memory anyway, they probably haven't they might not have seen the video from last year so is this my sixth time here I think? is it sixth? could be yeah coffee and a little roll before we start. Unusual for me I know but there you go. Breakfast what's that? Yeah. Had a quick whiz. Now we get on the bus and do the bus tour up to the uh, Saturn V rocket and all that. Lovely day. Glad I come back here now. Really a last minute thing. Little tip when you're doing the ghost tour try and get on, sit on the right hand side of the bus, especially when you go up to the uh, uh, the vehicle assembly building, which is huge. Getting on the bus, be cool. Already. Morning, everyone. My name is Ellen, and I'll be escorting you to the Saturn Five Center on behalf of NASA. Astronautic Space Administration, welcome aboard. Their glow guiding our travel for centuries. The more we learn about our universe, the more questions we have. I'm Emily Calandrelli, and today you'll be following me.
Take you out to the Saturn V rocket now. Always impressive. Damn impressive, isn't it? Pretty damn impressive. So impressive. Takes your breath away every time you're here. Every time you're here. The most complex machine ever built by humankind. Absolutely amazing. Look at those bastards. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Good captain. Kennedy Space Center is really good value. Um, you dropped off at nine o'clock, get here about nine o'clock in the morning, it's after, and here right in the future about 4.30. So you've got time to, since it's a two day, to see the whole part, two days, you can do it all in a day. You really can do it all in a day, and quite leisurely as well. Just pop out and have a look outside. We were very lucky enough, I've said in other videos, we were very lucky enough to see a uh, rocket launch. Uh, the Falcon 9 back in 2015. Unmanned, it was just a satellite. When we were doing this road trip from Miami down to, sorry, New York down to Miami. But yeah, right in the distance is launch pad 39B. As I said, this is probably the non-windiest it's ever been here on Merritt Island. Especially, you know, you've got the Atlantic Ocean um, right on your doorstep. But it's really quiet. Hardly any wind at all. The moon buggy. Obviously, it must be a wreck here because the moon buggy is still on the moon. I Here's a little bit of lunar rock that they say 3.7 billion years old and collected by astronaut Jack Schmidt near the Apollo 17 lunar module site. So yeah, 3.7 billion years old. Tragedy. Let's go 
here. Space costume's a bit dark in here, sorry guys. Yeah. Do come here, really do come here. Okay, thank you Saturn V, let's head back over to the visitor complex. Let's walk through the shop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on board. My name is Tom. I'll be continuing your ride directly back to the visitor center. Just a reminder, please stay seated while the bus is in motion. We are just a 15 minute ride straight back. Starling Airlines is now an Atlas V rocket, made by United Launch Alliance or ULA. On its return to Earth. Okay. We're gonna do the space shuttle Atlantis again. It's still impressive, what do you reckon? You wanna do it? Um Adventure has only just begun. This is in Star Trek the motion picture. So impressive. Every time I've seen this, it's so impressive, isn't it? Good thing about coming here, it's always something new to see. Always something new to see. Simulation cockpits, pretty cool. Some 
serious power, isn't it? Some serious power to achieve escape velocity. Velocity, veloc yeah, you know what I mean. Velocity, that's the word I'm looking for. Sorry, 106 million miles travelled. Oh yes, the red corridor. We're going into the red corridor. I don't know why it's red, but... Whoa. Yeah. Super red. Re-entry uh, the colour. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, it's all about re-entry. Oh. Near the bottom of the shuttle. Okay. There is a simulator to feel like it's like to go up in these shuttle which I did do 2016 but I'm not a big ride person so I'm not doing it again um, yeah it's pretty, it's pretty cool though, it was pretty cool that's from the 1980s I would think or late 70s tribute to the Challenger crew which is very moving lovely and as you help me out Colin upon request I've got your t-shirt you wanted. So I hope we got that right. Did you change the battery on the GoPro? It's uh, down to 20%. I'll eat when I get back, I think. The food doesn't look brilliant in here. So, um, yeah, been good though, been good. Over the afternoon rain to kick in, but other than that, I think uh, it's all lovely. So just been watching a couple of IMAX movies. One about the uh, James Webb telescope, which is really interesting. And one about um, the new frontier, I'm calling space the old final frontier. God, big bug. Um, it's not really true, it's really it's a new frontier. So, yeah, just coming up to the memorial garden. I don't think that many people come up to, which they should really. Beautiful memorial here. Whenever mankind has sought to conquer new frontiers, there have been those who have been given their life for the cause. This astronaut memorial, uh, dedicated May the 9th, 1991, is a tribute to American men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice, believing the conquest of space is worth the risk of life. Isn't that amazing? I'm 
I'm glad I come here now. It hasn't rained, it's a lovely afternoon. You can see right in the distance the uh, vehicle assembly building. I think it's it for a couple of years now. When I come to Florida next, it's going to be another part. Um, as we're coming to a close of this trip, I've only got tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Hopefully, meeting up with Greg, who I met last year. He just messaged me. Um, yeah. Thank you. Shop. Huh, I bought that bit last year. <laughs> I mean, it's all commercialised tap, really. I know, but um, it's still cool. It's still cool. Let's have a quick look around. Will we probably get to Mars is the question. Will we do it? So many questions I have about that. Thank you. Okay. I think a coffee's in order. Do you say? exploring Quick look up on the next level. Um, Cause it's cool. Blue Origins is just the other side of the car park, the uh, factories and buildings associated with that. Okay. And out to the rocket garden. Oh. I don't think I'm going to do Heroes and Villains, I've done that a few times. I think I'm going to go and get a coffee. Stop off for another Americano. They don't sell wine here. Disgraceful.
So there, thanks for joining me on this impromptu visit to Kennedy Space Center. I think my sixth time here. Um, but I love it. I love, I'm interested in all this stuff. And if you're in Florida, you know, do come along. It's really good. I know it's a lot of money, but it's good value at the same time. You're here for a long time. You can do the whole park pretty much in a day. It's, it's a two day experience, but you can fit all the good stuff in, in a day. You really can. I've, I've finished with about an hour and a half to spare and I'm still just leisurely going through all the, uh, the exhibits and the Saturn V hangar. I watched a couple of IMAX movies. It's absolutely fine. Um, but thanks for joining me. One day left in Florida and then we fly home. And uh, thanks for coming along. Please like, subscribe, you know, that stuff we do on that there YouTube. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.